The 1920s were known as a return to normalcy in the United States, but they were anything but a return to the status quo. The post-war era brought significant changes to the country. These changes were felt in all walks of life and impacted millions of Americans. This decade signified the beginning of modern America with dynamic changes that helped to mold American character, celebrate American diversity, and stimulate American culture. One of these events that brought significant change to the American country was the Palmer Raids. The Palmer Raids occurred between the First World War and the 1920s. It was mainly due to the fall of Russia during the Bolshevik Revolution. After the revolution, Russia was changed into a communist country. The Red Scare in America occurred shortly after the Bolshevik Revolution. As one person puts it, um, Mary B. Levin wrote that a nationwide anti-radical hysteria provoked it by a mounting fear and anxiety that a Bolshevik revolution in America was imminent, thus led to the Palmer Raids. The Palmer Raids were a series of controversial raids by the U.S. Justice and Immigration Department from 1918 to 1921 on the radical left in the United States. And the Palmer Raids uh, onslaught against civil liberty marked the height of a governmental campaign began in 1919 to fight a perceived red menace that many believed to be a threat to American democracy. After the war rapid and haphazardly demobilized brought inflation and unemployment, a shockwave of strikes, steel workers, coal miners, Boston policemen, and general strike in Seattle began. The organized laborers used termination of hostilities to push for wages, as it has done before the war. On April 1919, 36 governmental officials, including Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes and Attorney General Palmer, received May Day bombs for the mail. After the series of bomb attacks on court buildings, police stations, churches, and homes tied to violent immigration anarchist groups, the government intervened. In fall of 1919, the federal government launched a crusade to hold what was believed to be a concerted communist plot to destroy the United States. Palmer, who led this crusade against domestic radicalism, had been a staunch defender of individual rights in his earlier months as Attorney General, but his receipt of a mail bomb and his presidential aspiration had prompted a political metamorphosis. Another man named Mr. J. Edgar Hoover was put in charge of a new division of the Justice Department Bureau of Investigation, the General Intelligence Division in 1919. Hoover's division had collected 100 50,000 names in a rapidly expanding database. The Bureau Investigation Agent started to use this database information on November 7, 1919. These agents used the Espionage Act of 1917 and the Sedition Act of 1918 to make a series of well-publicized raids. On 7 November 1919, Palmer began coordinating nationwide raids to round up and detain alleged radicals. Soon Americans clamored for their deportation, and Palmer readily obliged. Palmer and his agents were accused of using various controversial methods of obtaining intelligence and collecting evidence on radicals, including harsh interrogation methods, informers, and wiretaps. He also used Americans' fear of radicals to destroy the industrial workers of the world, a militant industrial union whose mission was to end capitalist exploitation of workers. Palmer's goal was to drive out these troublemakers of American soil by, by jailing and deporting them. Victor L. Berger was sentenced to 20 years in prison on a charge of sedition. An army transport with 249 aliens on board set sail for Finland where they were sent by rail to the Soviet Union. The radical anarchist Luigi Galliani and eight of his people were deported in June of 1919. Three weeks after the June's two wave of bombing. In December 1919, Palmer's agents gathered 249 radicals of Russian origin, including well known radical leaders such as Emma Goldman and Alexander Berkman, and placed them on a ship bound for the Soviet Union. In January 1920, another 6,000 were arrested, mostly members of the Industrial Worker U of the World Union. During one of the raids, more than 4,000 radicals were rounded up in a single night. All foreign aliens caught were deported under the provision of the Anarchist Act. 
during January 1920, Palmer and Hoover had organized the largest mass arrest in U.S. history, rounding up at least 10,000 individuals. By the late 1920s, the Red Scare waned as Americans turned away from the wound of war to the calms of peace. As the bombings, Palmer raids, and immigrant deportations subsided, many Americans realized that the warning of a radical Bolshevik threat had been greatly exaggerated. Ironically, America's most basic and cherished civil liberties, such as freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and representative government, had been threatened more by the aggressive strategy of the federal government than the alleged radicals and foreign subservients. Well, I hope you've all learned some stuff from this video that you haven't learned from before. Uh, my name is Richard Lee and I approve this message.